So here we have a, uh, a young um, poplar again uh, encroaching into this early successional grassland. Um, beautiful place by the way, just an abandoned site. And uh, this is a good example of uh, succession trajectories, but uh, that's beside what we're doing here. Um, quick things to note, just that we're, we're going to be measuring the height of this tree uh, using our Sunto clinometer. Uh, the Japanese have come up with a slick rick uh, way of getting height uh, very quickly. Um, using trigonometry that, uh, that you thought uh, um, you had to forget from high school. Well, uh, it turns out that uh, we're talking triangles and uh, you're going to have to do some trigonometry. The Sunto does it for you. If you do not have the Sunto clinometer, um, you'll notice, I'll show you up to the camera, that the Sunto has a uh, angle on it. So it, I believe these are uh, called inclinometers. Um, the Sunto is called a clinometer. But on your cellular phone, uh, Android or PC, uh, I'm filming with the phone, so I can't show you mine, but I showed, uh, but, uh, but yeah, so I can't show you mine. Um, but what you would do with your phone, assuming you have the app, when you point to the top of the tree, it's going to tell you the angle there. So here it's uh, 40, I'm just pointing arbitrarily, and uh, we'll talk about that next. I'm just first going to use the Sunto. But then uh, I'm going to go over, if you do not have one of these, um, this is our pretend cell phone with your application uh, with the angle, okay? Talking about the Sunto clinometer. And uh, the first thing to do is just get familiar with the clinometer. So you're going to look through the eyepiece uh, with your right eye. I guess it could be your left eye, but let's just do right eye. Uh, you're going to point it to the sky and uh, you'll see on the very left hand side is a scale that you can use uh, and at the very bottom it says 1 over 20. The line beside that right next to it is 1 over 15 and then you may or may not have a percentage on the, on the final uh, scale. So you'll see that clearly. I'll, uh, I'll try to show you uh, in the phone or, or I'll put up a slide uh, in the video. So what that means is um, if you're 15 meters away from the tree or 20 meters away from the tree, uh, it's calculating the trigonometry, so the distance to the tree. And uh, what it's doing is a, a tangent uh, equation for you. So that's what's awesome about this. No, trig no trigonometry involved, um, but the trig isn't too bad when we use the saw 15 or 20 meters away. So uh, there's a couple ways of doing that. I'll show you the coolest first, um, <laughs> just, just because I like it. So this is a laser, a Bosch laser gauge, better to use inside or, um, well, it's kind of dark, which it's starting to get dark now. and. Um, what it does, if I can get it to work, so you can see on the clinometer, uh, there's the red uh, dot as a laser. So uh, it's telling me that that is uh, one foot away, approximately. So when I point that at the tree, uh, you most certainly will not be able to see. But uh, this can tell you distance, and all you have to do is uh, laser, laser tag your way to distance. But... I realize we're all not living in the future, and uh, that's okay. We have our uh, <laughs> beautiful uh, and uh, <laughs> not tangled uh, yard tape to, <laughs> to measure the distance. So I'm going to do that now, uh, 15 meters, and then I'm going to show you how to do height. So uh, just bear with me here, I'm just going to measure my 15 meters. I'm gonna go yard tape. Just make sure you do it uh, straight. And what you wanna do is try to get to where the eye level is. That would be the best guess for the, the distance um, away from the tree um, because that's what you're, you're using your clinometer for. 
So pretend here that that's not a mangled mess and that I actually am 15 meters away from the tree. I'm going to pull out my sunto, uh, which is just such a, a fun instrument. And uh, here are the steps. 15 meters away. Uh, I'm going to use that 1 over 15 meter scale. And I'm going to do two things. The first is measure the top of the tree. And this uh, is pretty clear where that is, but if you have a very big canopy that's kind of uh, obstructed, you're going to want to penetrate through the canopy to find the main meristem. Uh, the, middle, the middle apical meristem is usually the tallest part, but it may not be. So um, walk around the tree and try to transpose your view through the tree. So here we go. Uh, Hopefully everything is, is in view here. Um, don't want to mess this all up. So I'm 15 meters away. Uh, I'm just going to double check that I'm using the right scale. So the 15, uh, 1 over 15 meters is in the middle. And what I'm going to do is, uh, it's a slight slope here in that I am uh, uphill by a slight fraction. So. If there is no uh, topography difference, if it's flat, all you have to do is, uh, well, it doesn't matter. You should always, as an exercise, do two things. The first is point to the very tip of the tree. I have my right eye through the optical lens and I'm pointing at the tip. But obviously, I can't see with both eyes closed where the top is. So I open my left eye. I keep them both open and uh, it'll kind of trip you out a little bit. Um, but you'll see, <laughs> you'll see uh, the scale and your leaves floating around. And that's some crazy optics of our human uh, instruments. Um, the way that we perceive uh, 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 light and uh, wavelengths, but that's a whole nother uh, conversation. So anyway, <laughs> I am getting here uh, about 14 meters, uh, just, just slightly lower than 14 meters tall for the top. And a good exercise to do just to make sure that you're neither uphill or downhill. Um, is point down towards the uh, base of the trunk and it turns out here so again you open both eyes so you can actually see what's happening and it turns out here that uh, it is a, a down slope of uh, negative two so i had 14 at the top negative two on the bottom and the way the math works, the tangent approach, um, is that you, uh, you add the top value by the bottom value because when you just did the top, you were really missing the lower part, right? And the lower part was uh, two meters. So uh, we're gonna add the 14 plus the two and uh, that's gonna give us 16 meters and uh, that looks good perfectly reasonable even though uh, secretly I'm not 15 meters away <laughs> so uh, so yeah that's how you do it with the clinometer uh, so we're gonna be doing the the tangent method um, if you do not have the Sunto that does the math for you and what's cool is that with the Sunto it even shows you that old trigonometry right it shows you exactly what's happening so we're just substituting, pretend this is a cell phone with the angle uh, on it. And um, just so we're all clear, uh, when you're doing the tangent method without the Sunto, the equation for measuring this, and I will superimpose this on a slide or uh, maybe in the video if I can, um, uh, the key thing uh, is that it's um, the distance away from the tree, so here I'm 15 meters, multiplied by the tangent of the top angle plus the tangent of the bottom angle. And the reason that it is plus 
is because a negative uh, angle, so the real equation is, uh, is the tangent angle of the top minus the tangent angle of the bottom, but two minuses gives you a positive. And uh, so don't be fooled. Uh, I have been misinformed of that myself, uh, as so I'm guilty <laughs> of doing that. So, so you're adding that, uh, uh, that last uh, bottom tangent and not subtracting. So again, the equation is distance 15 meters away multiplied by the tangent of whatever angle you're getting on your phone plus if there is a, a down slope and you get a negative angle it's plus that tangent angle okay um, so here for I'm just pretending again this is a cell phone the arboreal app might work I haven't uh, tried it out uh, I'm going to make sure I, I'm on the right side. Oh dear. Uh, well, you can't see, uh, you can't see that side. Uh, I can't look through it and show you the, the angle, but uh, I'll tell you, <laughs> I, I promise to tell you what it is. Um, <laughs> so when I'm looking at the top, so this is your cell phone. Uh, you're just holding your cell phone at the top, making sure that it is indeed at the top. And uh, you're going to look on your cell phone and it's going to say 50 degrees. So that's your first tangent, tan 15. And then you're going to look to the bottom. And again, this is only a very slight uh, uh, down slope. So here I'm getting a tangent of uh, minus 5 of the angle. So again, it's the tangent of the top minus a minus angle. So that gives you the tangent of the top plus the tangent of the bottom. And uh, I'll put a slide up, uh, at least in the announcements, but I'll try to work it into this video that, uh, that explains that. So the fundamental mistake I've made plenty, plenty of times is uh, subtracting that bottom value because I neglected to realize that two negatives is a positive in math. So um, those are the two approaches with the Sunto and uh, without the Sunto. And um, the trigonometry is not too bad. And uh, what I would recommend is in your Excel spreadsheets, you're gonna go in your, your uh, field, um, you're gonna have your data sheet, and if you're using your cell phone, just write down the angles that, uh, that come up and then uh, use your Excel spreadsheet later. Just plug in that formula, distance times tangent of the top plus uh, tangent of the, the angle um, or minus tangent of the minus angle. Uh, however you want to do that.